Okay, hi guys. Um, we're kind of on storm watch today. <laughs> uh, we've had some insane winds today. Um, I think someone said like highs of 90 kilometer an hour winds, which is crazy, especially being like right here in the bay. It hasn't been fun at all. I'm sure there's an insane amount of damage outside and I'm so nervous to go check that. Um, I don't think I'll be checking it tonight just because I think it's even dangerous to be outside right now, but I'm inside, Chris is away. So I had to start a fire. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's like so loud and so scary. But anyways, I started a fire, which if anyone knows me, they know I've never started a fire before I leave that up to Chris. And then we had our quails that were born just a few days ago. And they're so tiny. We've had the heat lamp on them for the last few days. But of course, with the power outage, that doesn't work. So my hand is actually keeping them warm right now, which is so cute. I'm hoping it's enough for them, especially over the night. I think I'm probably going to be sitting here all night with my <laughs> hands holding the quail here. So I'll give you guys a little peek of like what we got going on right now. So I'm sure it's not the world's best fire because this is my very first fire doing all by myself, but it's got the fan going on. So that is good, I think. And then we got these baby little quails here just cuddling right up into my hand. They're so chilly, I'm sure. They're so used to that heat lamp being on them, but doing the best I can with what I got. So they're all snuggled in there. And I'm gonna leave them for one second, which breaks my little heart, but I'll just put this right over top and I'll come right back, but I'll show you the rest of what's happening here. We have so many starters in the house right now. And then also our fish tank is, uh, not working, so I'm a little worried about that. We had our Blue Eddy power system going for a while, but uh, it only has so much battery and this power outage has lasted so long. So I'm hoping that uh, power comes back on soon because I'm sure you can't really see that well. But these guys need a little light and a little bit of a pump in there. And this is the storm outside. I'm not gonna stay out here too long, but they're saying it's calming down right now, which I don't feel like that's the case. It is insane out here. I feel like I'm gonna blow away. So it's pretty insane out there right now. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll show you guys in the morning the damage. I'm hoping there's not too much, but honestly with these winds happening all day, I'm assuming there's probably some stuff. So we'll go through that in the morning and show you guys what happened, but I better get back to giving my hand as a little heating heating pad or something for these quails, they're so cold. <laughs> and now I am too. <laughs> Poor little buddies are so cold and I just don't know what else to do. The fire's going, but I'm not great at fires, so I don't know. I'm trying my best. But this is the quail. My hand is currently inside. I'm sleeping with my hand inside the quail coop to try and keep them warm. All right, so we are on hour 23 of no power. Um, I was up most of the night last night, just trying to keep the fire going and um, taking care of our quail that are so cold. We do usually have a generator and I should say that, but there was an issue with it and we brought it home to my dad, who's awesome, who's just fixed it, but we didn't get it back here in time for the storm, so. That really sucks, bad timing on my part. But yeah, fire's still going. Quail are very cold, um, but I'm doing everything I can. I have them right in front of the fire here. Uh, still using my hand for a little heating source. Really hoping that this storm, well, the storm is gone, but the power 
hoping the power is back on soon. It's a beautiful day outside today. And I really want to go out and check the damage, which I will in a bit. I'm just so nervous to do that. And I'm also so incredibly tired and worried about these little quails. So I will come back and show you guys what the outside looks like in just a minute. But I'm just going to make sure this fire is good and going before I do that. <laughs> Okay, power outage is still going on. We're hoping that it comes back by 4.30, 5.30 tonight. It's three o'clock now. I am gonna take you through some of the damage that happened. To be honest, I'm surprised that there isn't more, but yeah, I'll kind of show you a little bit of what's going on here. So this is our deck. Our potatoes are fine. All these guys are fine. There was a couple of little plants that I, didn't think would survive anyways that um, aren't doing super well, but uh, they weren't doing too well before the storm either. So we have a couple of plants that have fallen over. Again, they weren't looking too hot before the storm, so not a huge deal over there. And then, yeah, more plants that we weren't really happy with uh, to start out. So. That's that part. Next we have the deck greenhouse. And this time we like sort of tied it to the deck so it wouldn't fall over. But inside, I don't know if you can see that. There are a few in there that are tipped over. I am going to try and repot those. Not sure how well they'll do, but a bit of damage in there. One of them actually fell off out of there because got this big hole in there. Not looking too hot, but could definitely be worse. And then the rest of the deck actually looks pretty good. Uh, this is the side of the deck. Our stevia here fell over, but doesn't look like it was too big of a deal. So here in our upper property, <laughs> Sorry, here in our upper property, our upper garden, some things did get displaced, a lot of fallen tree branches and that kind of thing. And our drip tape system kind of got a little funky on us. So that definitely needs to be fixed and cleaned up. Honestly, not too bad. Could have been way worse. And these two sections haven't been planted yet, which uh, we will get to. <laughs> So many projects and so many things to do this year and a couple of things have fallen by the wayside a bit, but uh, we'll get to it. Definitely needs a good clean, lots of branches and, and uh, debris from the storm. So honestly, uh, those winds were pretty terrifying um, last night, yesterday, and a little bit into the morning, I think today, uh, but could have been so much worse. And I'm super grateful that it wasn't so much worse. Um, our quail are still sitting by the fire. We're hoping that the power comes on soon. But yeah, that's kind of all I have for now. Hi guys, so I am just on the ferry back to uh, Pender here. I've just been in Vancouver uh, doing a, a quick course. And of course, while I was gone, there was a, a big windstorm, especially for for this time of year it was definitely a big one so power's been out on pender for almost two days now feel bad for steph uh dealing with all of that on her own and of course the timing was horrible we just hatched some baby quail that were under a heat lamp and our generator is broken as well so unfortunately it doesn't sound like our baby quail made it so we're gonna have to incubate and hatch some more there so uh anyways gonna get back to it and check in on things see how steph's doing uh, and get back to doing some projects this week Okay, so a bit of a sad day today. We obviously knew it was coming, but we've got uh, eight of our piglets going off to another farm here on Pender Island. So we got to say goodbye to some of them. And, and obviously we don't need 14 pigs, so it's, uh, it's good that they're going to a new home. But uh, yeah, sad to say goodbye to them as well after having them for this long. So giving them their last meal here and uh, saying goodbye. Anyways, that's it. Just want to give you guys a quick update. Uh, yeah, eight are going off today. Before we're going off to uh, Main Island, which is right next to us uh, tomorrow, and then we're keeping two here on uh, on property with us, so we'll still have some left. But sad to see most of them go. Hi guys, 
looking a little uh, swollen today. Uh, I got stung by a bee a couple of days ago, so. <laughs> and this looks 10 times better than Yeah, that. yeah, it's actually healing, which is maybe surprising, but. Yeah, not fun. So today we're gonna get back in. We did a little one uh, video a while ago, sort of planning out our mid garden area here. Um, and today we're gonna start building some planter boxes and try and get our greenhouse into shape before it starts raining here. So uh, yeah, we're excited to put our plans into place and share with you guys what we're gonna do. So let's get to it. Let's go. Okay, we got to a place where we, I think, like it for now. Yeah, we, we compromised, we're happy, yeah, I think. Yeah, don't mind the uh, extra box in the back there. That was uh, a, trial. a trial. Didn't work out, but we'll use it somewhere else. So this is kind of where we got our boxes in place with a pathway down the middle to where the greenhouse is gonna go. Um, so now we gotta move everything out of the way, get the landscape cloth back down, put some gravel into the pathways and start filling these with dirt. Hi. That was a look. Are you gonna nope. These actually look so good. I'm so happy with them. Okay, I'll come help you not this film. Okay, after a few hiccups and the turkeys agree, we've got everything in place here uh, with our two planter boxes. They're a lot bigger put together than we thought they were gonna be. <laughs> Obviously we knew the dimensions, but uh, yeah, it's given us lots of extra planting space, which is great. And the greenhouse is in place and nailed down so we can start getting stuff in there, which is also awesome. So 
Thanks for following along. We hope you enjoyed it. We'll definitely be coming back in a future episode uh, to show you the progress of the rest of this area. This is all going to be a gravel pathway. Obviously, these will get filled with, uh, with dirt and a bunch of other things. So lots more progress to come. But thanks for watching. Hit like and subscribe below. And we'll see you guys next week.